A Coweta County citizen has sent a letter to the Coweta School Board accusing them of bid rigging and conspiring to defraud the taxpayers. Now the letter which threatened a lawsuit claims the school board and staff designed a bid process for new artificial turf fields so only one company could win. Now the letter follows a Fox 5 I team investigation and I team reporter Dale Russell is here with the latest. That's right Deidre, the board denies it and we've been raising questions about artificial turf bids across Metro Atlanta. And earlier this year, we examined Coweta County's bid and someone didn't like what they saw. It didn't take me less than a half a day to find out it was bid rigging. The turf wars in Coweta County have gotten personal. Citizen activist Hank Ashmore's attorney has sent the Coweta School Board a letter accusing the county of bid rigging and threatening a racketeering lawsuit. What's the worst part of all this to you? Uh, the betrayal of the school board to the taxpayers. Ashmore sent the letter following a Fox 5 I-Team investigation that raised questions about the bids to install new field turf, artificial fields, at three Coweta County high schools. Our investigation found there were representatives from 12 companies who showed up and signed in at the pre-bid conference. But after the bid specifications came out, spelling out the size, shape, and composition of the turf, most of the companies lost interest. Only two placed bids. Both companies were bidding a field turf field. School board member Linda Mink. What happened to the other 10? The specs that we sent out to these companies were written based on field turf products. One of the companies that decided not to bid even complained about it in a letter to the county saying the specification for Coweta County High School fields can only be met by one manufacturer of synthetic turf. With On the night of the field. vote, Ken this Pritchard of Southern A&E, who said he wrote those bid specifications, contract. denied it was tailored for just one company. And he said the bid allowed bids on alternate turfs, even if they didn't meet the specs. We had a performance spec that anybody could meet. But Superintendent Dr. Process. Steve Barker says when you strip away new stadium lights, those track upgrades and other expenses, the new fields cost an average of $809,000. We compared that price to Cherokee County, who bought new fields just a few weeks earlier. Cherokee had four different companies bidding. We took out that extra track work and site work like Dr. Barker did for the Coweta bid. That left an average cost of the fields $636,000. And that means Coweta taxpayers are paying more than a half a million dollars more for their fields. We want to know why was this done the way it was done. Um, we certainly want to stop this from happening again. Attorney Josh McCoon drafted the letter, which is required by law if you plan on suing a government. He wrote he plans to file a racketeering lawsuit against the school board, calling the bid process bid rigging and a conspiracy to defraud a political subdivision of the state. The children of this county are hurt by it because the more resources that are taken away um, from the classroom, uh, obviously the harder we make the job of the classroom teacher. I can't see any evidence whatsoever that the allegations have any merit whatsoever in that letter. But Coweta School Board Attorney Nathan Lee and the board fought back. The board voted to conduct an independent investigation by an outside company to examine the allegations of bid rigging. And board members and the superintendent made it clear they were not happy with the letter and wanted Hank Ashmore, who was sitting in the audience, to know it. You have been really ugly to me and the rest of us of accusing us of something that we just have not done. I take this letter and its content as both a professional and a personal attack and will also seek legal counsel relating to the possible damage to me. Now the school board is in the process right now of hiring the law firm of former DeKalb County District Attorney Bob Wilson to conduct that outside investigation and Hank Ashmore is waiting to see how the board will respond to his letter. Russ, Deidre? We are talking about a significant amount of money. It was a lot of money, a lot more money than when we compared the prices of the two counties um, in two different bids. One county had four different companies bidding. Uh, Coweta had two companies, but they were both bidding the same product. So it'll be interesting to see what the outside investigation finds and will there be a lawsuit that follows this letter? Looking forward to your follow-up on we'll that. We'll find out. All right, thank you.